Now, one of the useful things you will learn in this life is to learn to get things done yourself. Don't wait on anyone. Got it? Yes, Auntie. I'll always remember. All right, good. Um, is it that obvious? Oh. Babe, it's not a big deal. Don't fuss about it. It's just a flat tire. But it's no place for a lady. I know, but I was calling out to you and you were in the bathroom. And if I had to wait for you to come up from the bathroom, then I would be late to my meeting. And that's not my style. Typical you. You always have to have it your way. Look, baby, don't make a fuss out of it. It's not a big deal. Okay, but since you're here, you can as well just... <laughs> what? Let's make sure it's super tight. It's super tight. I did it. Yeah, you did. Where's the water? I am so happy. I've waited for this all my life. <laughs> Honey, I am so proud of you. You deserve it. You so deserve it. <laughs> Thanks, dear. And you know, all the while I kept thinking about you. Mm. Yes, I wanted to make you proud. I am. I am very, very proud of you. Thanks, dear. <laughs> you know, it's not really an easy venture mm. being with a woman like you. Mm. I admire you a lot. Mm. Your strength, your zeal, your self willed, your driven goodness, your energy. It's, it's out of this planet. Mm -hmm. you know, I hate to say it, but sometimes I feel inadequate around you. Like, you know, it's almost like I don't deserve you. I'm not good enough. Is that what he said? Baby, I'm sorry. I just, I just got distracted. I, you were going. It's to... fine. It's fine. I mean, this is really, really important. Well, it's, it, it's fine. You can go ahead. I'll just go fix myself something. Okay. Are you sure? Maybe Kayla and Owen, you know, just something simple, not elaborate. Like a dinner? Perfect! Like a dinner and it's perfect. After working hours, I can show up and just do that. Are you sure that's what you want? Honey, that's exactly what I want. Okay, <laughs> I can make that happen.
Papa. Yo, Papa. Uncle. Sorry, man. Papa. Uncle. Uncle. Talk to me. Are you okay? Papa, are you okay? She cancelled. She what? She cancelled. <laughs> After all this arrangement. Huh? Wait. What's the reason? Fuck. Because apparently you can't kiss my wife. Well, since she is not going to be around, we might as well start, you know, a party to celebrate. You will not be here to. So that you, you want a large chunk of this one, so you need that kid so you can have that. That is just for you. That's not That is just for you. That's not 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 for you. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't know you had all that planned. I thought it was just in your regular sit out and... But you promised you were going to come and we made all these arrangements together. I know, right? It's just... You know how these things work. Things just jump out from nowhere and being senior partner... It doesn't leave me with much options. I'm just really, really busy. I know, and I'm not complaining, okay? Wouldn't you think you're paying a little too much? If... This is your moment you want to spend it talking about, right? No, babe. <laughs> 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 Please, actually, I can't do this. Very good. Really? Yeah. Just screwing in the simple bubble is very difficult. Of course it is. My dad and brothers always have to take things like this. Just have to you know what? You know what? That's it. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Now, watch and learn. Okay. Now let's see. Are you are you watching? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Can you please calm down? Hey babe, hold on, I'm trying to spell this name. Are you back in a hurry? Yes, I am. I cannot be meeting with the executives for the award ceremony. Touch. Oh really? What award ceremony? You're being serious right now. Don't tell me. I'm just me. joking. Of course, I remember the most important day in my baby's career life. <laughs> okay, um, I have to run along now. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Make sure you enjoy your day off, even though I know you won't. I won't disappoint you, Malcolm. <laughs> you, after all that I've taught you about learning to do stuff by yourself, you still cannot screw in a simple ball. What is this? Okay. What is this? Babe, it's the electricity bill. Hey, we had an agreement, okay? We shared responsibilities. Why would you go about hijacking mine? Baby, I'm not hijacking anything. I just thought to do it. It's not, not a big deal. Look, guess what? It matters to me. It matters to me. Huh? We shared responsibilities for a reason. Now, when you do this, it makes me feel inadequate. It makes me feel incapable. I feel useless. Come on, baby. <laughs> You're overreacting. It's not a big deal. But guess what? It is a big deal to me. Are we in some sort of competition? What? Yes, you earn more than I do, but guess what? I earn pretty good too! And I would like to make contribution to the affairs of this house as I live in it! Baby, it was a harmless gesture. I just thought to do it. Not a sh Why are you making the show down? You know what? I'll let you have your way as usual. Oh, your okay. majesty. Okay. You know what I'll just do? I will just keep my call and... Really? Yeah. What are you doing here? You're coming. I just thought to surprise you and I wanted to show Malcolm around the gym. 
Oh, by the way, this is Malcolm, my very good friend. Great guy. Malcolm, this is Diane, you know her. Hi, Malcolm. Hi. Good to see you. Nice to see you. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, really? Oh, good things. Uh, no. <laughs> Great things, <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay. Good to have you here. Yeah, it's a pretty nice place you have here. Oh, yeah. Thank you very, very much. Thanks You're welcome. A lot. I was thinking of, you know, getting back to program. Now. Oh yeah, yeah, you're in the right place. It's wonderful. I hope you live better, healthier. Oh, okay, cool. Um, um, I'm sure we'll work something out. Sure. Sure. Anytime. Uh, even now. Oh, so I can start now, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, uh, baby girl, we need to work out. Oh, come on, you only just got here. Uh, maybe I have some other things to attend to. Oh, I'm supposed to equally be important. You are important to me, but just, just don't let's start with the comparison right now. You know it never ends well. I know, I just want to spend some time with you. But you're never here and then you get here, you want to just run away. Uh babe, my friend, you don't want to do this. I'll be fine. I'll just pretend everything is fine. Diane. I'm sorry. Alright, I'll walk with you. Yeah, Marco. Ah, so you love us, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, we are. Mm. Oh, well, the face is a little too convincing. You sure? You know women are never satisfied. Oh boy, then you are lucky. <laughs> no, 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 she's lucky. <laughs> Whatever. I'm um, so Diane, I'm sure I'll see you sooner because we have unfinished business. Oh, anytime you want. Alright, thank you. Have a great day. Bye, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Wait! I just want to you don't have a condom. Wait. Wait. Why do I need a condom to make love to my wife? Oh my God. Um, I still have your ring on. You don't have to remind me. Could you just? Yes. Really? I don't get it. Why do I need a condom to make love to my wife? We've already talked about this. Okay, I can't get pregnant now. Of course I know you can't get pregnant because you want to focus on your career. Exactly. You are so selfish because you just care about just you. You want to make full partnership. Yes, and um, meanwhile, need I remind you that that's going to take you five years. Five whole years. And oh, in five years, I will be 41 and you'll be 38. Meaning I'll have my first child when I am 41. 14 flipping one. Baby, we already talked about this. That in our 30s, we're going to focus on our career. In our 40s, we're going to focus on family and, you know, just... Oh yes, we talked about it. But guess what? For us to have that family, Okay, in our forties, we need to start building that family now. This is the time to start making that family. Look, let us not fight, okay? Just let it be. Goodness, I don't know what's been going on. You've been having mood swings lately, or is it temperamental crisis? Yes, and that's because I've been holding and bottling up a lot. A lot. It's only so much a man can take. Screaming. Good night. You know, see, I will never be that kind of man, okay? Because I'm not. <laughs> She's just too independent. I think Jade is the perfect woman for every guy these days. Is that a joke? Look, I'm serious. What does every man want? Freedom. And if you can get freedom and a functioning home. Trust a woman that can pay the bills. That's, that's an added bonus, G. <laughs> you know it sounds like fun now until you're in it. Guy, you need to evolve with time. You need to come back and be a boy again. You don't need any woman that's choking you like a bow tie. Let me guess, like Diane. I was not going to say that. I, I didn't even think about that. But now that you said Diane, exactly. Good example, Diane. You know she's a good girl, right? And you should start taking her a little more seriously. Who's serious here? No, no, no. Oh, check it. On my very long list, she's not even on top five of people I want to take seriously. You know, I've met an army of girls called see you. Okay? 
And I'll tell you this, none of them measures up to her. She's, she's kind, she's loving, she's caring, and best of all, she's focused. That is because she is desperately looking for a husband. She won't marry by fire by force. I don't understand. Since when did it become a crime for a woman who has come of age to want to settle down and start a family? Brother, I am not going to settle down because some woman somewhere is thinking that her biological clock is ticking like a plane falling off the sky. No, nope. oh, come on, no, no, no. You are not allowed to talk about a woman that loves you the way Diane does. But I am not a lover boy and you know how I roll. Look, you're not getting any younger. You are going to have to change how you roll. Malcolm, I am 32 years old. I am not going to give any woman the authority to monopolize my life in the name of marriage. Not at this age. You must really think you're a teenager, not so. Oh, speak of the devil. Diane. <laughs> I hope she's not somewhere looking at me, not picking this call right now. <laughs> you know, life is quite funny. Here you are, you have a loving woman who wants to spend time with you, care for you, and me, on the other hand, my wife can't just look at me for 30 seconds without touching her computer. That is funny. My best quote to what you just said, life is funny. So, Whatever. Lose! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know exactly how you feel, but I think you should give him a little more time. He will come around. Thing is, he's been pretty occupied with work. It's not like he doesn't like you, you know? I'm sure. Does he ever mention my name in the Twitter? Do you think he really likes me? Don't be like that. Look, if you continue like this, you're going to send the wrong message. And you don't want him to start feeling like your company is suffocating him. You don't want that, trust me. But I love him. I can't help it. You need to get a hold of your emotions. Men don't like being pressured. I just want to be with him. Care for him, love him, and make him realize that no one can love him like I do. You need to take it easy, okay? I feel like I'm going to lose him. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe, maybe I'm not just loving him rightly, or I'm not just doing the right things. Stop being out of yourself, okay? You're a good woman. And if he doesn't see that, that is yours. I mean, you can't bleed your skin to please him. I'm slim. I'm really tired. I just... I just want to love and be loved. That's all I've got to give. Or maybe I'm not just... Maybe I'm not just good enough. Baby. Yeah? What do you think? Oh my god, it's perfect. Who picked it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I did myself. Um, there oh, were a wow. couple of others, but this one. Nah, was... nah, nah. This is spot on. Spot on. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, though. No? I do, honey. I do. Alright, so, um, do you want me to take a kid to the tailor myself or you do that? You know, we have to do measurements and all. Ah, no, honey, you know how I like to take care of things myself. I'll just call Deborah and then give it to her. She knows exactly what suits me and I trust her work, so don't worry. Okay, I will let you do just that. Just make sure you tell her how important this award is to me and how elegant I want my beautiful wife to look. No, honey, I just told you, don't worry yourself. I trust the blast work, and you know how that's not easy to come by with. <laughs> right, don't worry that. yourself. <laughs> well, the truth is, I really don't care how you look. What matters to me is that you're there by my side. <laughs> uh -huh. Honey, you know the right words to say every time. I love you too. Hmm? Busy. Can I have a word with you? Look. Please. Five minutes. Thank you. I have this email with the Tokyo deal. Can't miss it. Okay, counting. It's all you and Uncle. 
Auntie, um, don't you think you should do something about this bad blood between two of you? Bad blood? Did Malcolm say something to you? Auntie, I don't even this house. Uncle doesn't have to say anything. Besides, he only confided in me because I'm family. Gosh, Malcolm. Malcolm can be so needy sometimes, it pisses me off. And I'm the woman here. Can you blame me? Being married to you is not a walk in the park, you know. When was the last time I beat you? I mean, he knew me before he got married to me. He knew how I was before he put a ring on it. It's not like I put a gun to his head or had any marriage-hungry efforts played on him. So, you shouldn't act surprised. Auntie, you are in it now. Please, try to make time for Uncle. Why is everyone saying this? It's not like anybody's stopping you from working. But look at the distance of your family. Okay, you know what? I'm trying, but fine, I'll try. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, Auntie, don't you think you should have a rethink about this Tokyo deal? Four minutes. Don't even go there. Auntie, think about Uncle. What do you mean, think about uncle? Liz? Do I need a permit to leave my house? It's just a month and, you know, I'll be back. And besides, not a child. And see, can't you feel... You know what? This conversation, we're done. We're done. The five minutes is up. Oh, and I saw the messages she sent to you. They didn't seem to me like friendly notes. First and foremost, you have no business going through my personal things. Like my phone. I don't go through your phone. That's because you don't care. I do. That's because you are nosy and you want to get your heart broken over and over and over again. My darling, you still never learn. I've told you, these girls paint a picture in their minds and then they send us guys like me a message and I don't acknowledge it. I didn't even reply it. Oh, and I love you. And I don't want to lose you too. You are on the path of losing me. That's what you're doing right now because you are choking me. I don't want to be choked. I don't need you like a bow tie on my neck. I want to breathe. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was choking you. It's not about you being sorry. It's about you knowing your boundaries and respecting it. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Of course, it won't happen again. Do not come near my personal things. I won't come near your personal things, okay? Especially my phone, okay? Right then. Have fun. I didn't know you were here, man. Hi, Dad. Hi, Malcolm. I'm sorry you walked into this. No, I mean, it's fine. There's nothing. It's all right. Nothing to be sorry about. I'm sure my friend here is blowing things out of proportion. If I need to get him here outside, I'll be down for Just ignore him. And you don't need this. You don't want the client coming in here seeing you like this. It's bad for business. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'll join him now and um, check up on you later. All right. Thank you very much. You know, you have no right to be with her like that. And she has no right to go through my phone. I don't understand. She's your girlfriend. There shouldn't be any form of boundaries between you two. One of my girlfriends. And that's a silly thing to say. Look, you're not a boy anymore. It's that time you start acting responsibly. I know. I know. But I am not ready. And I am not going to let any woman pressure me to be ready. Say so, but listen to this. I hope that by the time you're ready, you won't have lost a good woman in Diane. <laughs> Diane. <laughs> Look, G, even if Diane catches me cheating, 
Even if she catches me on a woman, she will find an excuse and she will come back to me. <laughs> you don't deserve it. That's what she thinks. But when I'm tired, I'm tired. Then just tell her how you feel and let her go. I have said so. I have told her. I have shown her. But she still doesn't get it. Oh, gee. Forget it. Forget about Diane. You're here. Let's party. It's time to party, my man. You know what I mean? Whatever. Whatever. Well, yeah. I need help. Why are you doing this, Daddy? Why are you doing this now? I don't know. It could be Jade that I'll pick up. Hmm, I'll be damned. But how would you know if it's Jade if you don't pick up? What's the point? Why should I pick up? What's the point? She wasn't there when I needed her the most. So. What does she have to say now? Just so picking up will only make things just worse. Just hear her out, man. You don't, you don't know what it is. All I will get are excuses. And trust me, I have enough to last me a lifetime. I don't know, man. No, bro, honestly, Jade is mean. Let's call it spade is spade. Jade is mean. I mean, knowing how important this day is to you, this event, and she couldn't show up, and she stood you up like that? No. Well, I have a working wife, and she's got things to do. She's got things to do, but it's not going to cost her anything. Or it won't cost her so much. It's not a huge sacrifice to make for your husband. Now, well, coming from you, that is kind of hypocritical. Uh, oh boy, you don't bring anything about... Diane into this conversation. In fact, I'm going. <laughs> See you later, man. Have a good night, rest. Uh, easy. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to It wasn't intentional. It completely escaped me. I didn't think it was today. I thought you were going to mention it, you know, like send me a reminder, you know, tell me about it. I was so preoccupied with work, you know, the draft for the Tokyo deal, the meetings, the all in between. You know how it can get? I was really, really busy. I thought you were going to mention something. I'm sorry, you know, it wasn't intentional. Please. I promise, I, I, I'll make it up to you. I, you won't believe what I will do, but I promise I will make it up to you. There'll be another one, okay? Okay? Okay, beautiful ladies, put your hands forward. You want that ass so badly, I want you to have it. Now let's go. Jump with me. Go. On your hips. 
Again. Faster. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Move that ass. Move that. Yeah. Hey, Malcolm. What are you doing here? Um. I just um, thought I could just teach him for a second. Oh, yeah, well, but it's already too late. But it's okay, it's okay. I, I can spare you a few minutes. Okay. You just have fun? Oh, do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go, ladies. Yeah, yeah. You need that ass? You are getting that ass. Work it, work it, work it, yes. No, 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 no. Okay, yes. This way, this way, yeah. This way, that way, this way. That way, this way, that way. Let's go. Let's go again. Let's go again. Hold it. Malcolm. Malcolm. Malcolm, are you okay? Malcolm, what is it? Malcolm, talk to me. What's the matter? Did somebody die? Or are you in some kind of trouble? Or is it work? It's okay. It's work. Come on, it's okay. It's, it's not that bad. No matter what it is, I think you just need to calm down, okay? Even if it's so bad, no matter how terrible, Whatever it is that's bothering you, it may be. If you calm down, look through it thoroughly, you'll find a way out of it. Alright? You just need to take it easy. And you can also talk to me. You won't understand. You can try me. You never know. Finally! What? Yo, G, this calls for celebration. No doubt. Are you joking right now? Look, look, look. That woman needs to stay far, far. No, you need to stay far, far away from her. So she cannot convince you anymore. I just got tired. Got tired of everything. It's messing with my thoughts, my, my, my head, my mind. I, I just go and cook. Ah, bro, bam! End of story. You did the right thing. You know what? Being honest with you, that lady, Jay, is not deserving. <laughs> Something else I need to tell you. Is it about this divorce process? <laughs> Anything that's not about this divorce right now does not matter. All that matters now is we're going to pop champagne and we're going to drink to stupor like single men. Because you are free. You are free, man. Mm -hmm. Bottles on me. Wait, it's very important. You need to listen, okay? You need to listen. Papa, there is nothing you want to say. Except it's about this divorce. When you talk about the divorce, you leave it. We will talk about it. Right it, now. It is very important. Malcolm, right now, we need to celebrate our newfound freedom. Yep. Our newfound freedom. What do you mean, our? Oh, you haven't heard? Ah. Ah, finally, Diana's going to the missing. Finally. She Wait. hasn't called me in like one week. She hasn't spoken to me. She hasn't choked me. She hasn't monitored me. That's a very good thing. 
That's my freedom right there. Wait, are you saying you guys are... Wait, you guys are done? Mm. Mm. There was nothing to be done with in the first place. Whatever we're doing, she was the one taking it too far. But right now, she's gotten the message, most important thing, I'm a free man. <laughs> I don't get You guys are done, oh, done, done. Oh, can we not just spoil this mood? We are done. There is nothing between us. We haven't spoken. She has gotten the message. That's, the, that's my prayer. Right now, I need to spoil you. We need to celebrate this freedom. And there's one place they call Single Man's Club. I need to take you there. It's just ridiculous. Who's this car? <laughs> what? What was on me? Yes! Yeah, I've woken a part of my emotion that I never thought I'd feel in a while. Ever since I've not stopped thinking about you. I'm sorry. And at the same time, I'm not sorry about that night. Malcolm, this won't lead anywhere. Why? Because of all. He's your friend, and it makes everything complicated. Let me take care of that. What I am bothered about is how you feel. Does it matter? Of course it does. It matters. We're in this together. I want this just as much as you want it, don't you? I do. But... Not that much. Not Let's just go with it. Let's run with it. Time will only help us put everything into proper perspective. I really hope you're right. I think it would be unfair to keep you in something you want with someone who doesn't want it. It's unfair to play that way. I... I really... You don't have to say anything. It's a decision that I came to myself and you can make it. I honestly don't know how to respond to that. A thank you would be really good. Thank you. Yes. I'm giving you your freedom. You might want to call it that. I was in bondage. And yet you asked for a divorce. Don't back to me again. I was left with no other option. Did everything to make us work. No, it's not right. You didn't have to explain yourself. This whole marriage thing was in my rival. So here I am saying that I'm going to give it my full cooperation so that the divorce will have a smooth process. For a moment I wasn't sure I was in the right neighborhood. Why? Oh no. I didn't expect that she, you know, live here. Why would you say that? Well, it seems unwelcoming. It's, it's quite rough. No, 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 babe. I, I don't mean it like that. No, I, I. Look, you see, you're a reserved and a cultured woman, and it's not something you would expect to come out of a place like this. Um, 
Let's, let's see. Well, since you clearly do not approve of my neighborhood, I guess I won't be expecting you to come in. Come on, babe. No. I don't mean it that way. Like, getting is all wrong. No. It's okay. It's okay, yeah. yeah. But I really need to go inside now. I have something cooking on the fire. Well, I'll come in with you. You don't have to. I insist. But the bedroom is there. Yeah. Now that leaves me with the living room. Does there any help for me? Do whatever you want with it. I'm okay. You're not helping me. I need you to say maybe if I put this here up. Okay. Hello? Hi. I just want to tell you that I'll be with you. Oh, well, I'll be traveling. Okay. Don't you want to know where I'm going to? Okay. Am I calling at a bad time? No. You, you know what? Never mind. I just forget I said anything. All right. Bye. Um, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, this going to. This is lovely. You like it? I love it. Thanks. So uh, no, I'm really happy I can do this. This was the better part of my adult life. I've felt incapacitated. I make a lot of money and um, there's no one to share with. What about your family? They all made it. Who need nothing from me? The less privileged ones. Yeah, that would be charity. Because the that is well taken care of. I'm talking responsibilities. I am happy that you give me the opportunity to provide for you, protect you, be there for you. Mm -hmm. I look forward to, you know, creating something special with you someday. Be the man I've always wanted to be. So what stops you from being that man all the time? Um, uh, let's just say I've tried a couple times, but I finished them really. Why? Did you always have to date mid girls or you just didn't date at all? No, of course I dated. My woman is just giving me the opportunity to be this man I am with you. Really? You know, we never really got to talk about your past. You know mine. So, I think it'd be a fair game. You tell me about it. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's my mom. I need to take this. How long? The only night is spent in this house, I think, should be the day you left here. And he never showed up again. Occasionally, to have a change of clothes and dashed out before I could even get out of bed with him. I see. So, did you see him with anybody? Maybe a woman? And see, mm -hmm. I just told you that he didn't even stay long for me to greet him. All he ever left behind was this nice smelling cologne. Really? Yeah. <sighs> And you don't think that this is, um, you know, you don't think that this, think. But, 
Well, I'm just thinking like you don't think it's strange for him to just suddenly behave that way. Nope. I do not think so. Are you worried? <laughs> Me worried? Of course not. Of course I'm not worried. I'm just, you know, just... Wait, wait. Why am I trying to explain myself? Get out. Thank you. Out! And where have you been? Business trip. Know that oh, very this important. Is Tell me what I need to know. Hey. I'm a political investor. What does that even mean? I got interest in politics, and um, from what I gathered yesterday, you were looking at one of the senators for this dispensation. What? There is shot you still to be one of the senators for the district. Wow! Are you serious now? This young, you're like, what, 36? Wow, I'm so, so, so happy to hear that. Wow. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you! Wow, Senator! Come on! I love you too. Oh, you deserve a hug. Um, wait, there's one more thing. Um, it's very important here now. Sorry, I've kept you away for so long. Uh, don't worry, just put a sin on it. We need to drink to this. Afterwards, you can talk about every other person. <laughs> This is how you welcome your boyfriend. This is how you say hi to your man. That's a joke, right? I'm not laughing. Well, I guess serious. What do you want? Look, I'm just here to uh, say hi to you. Spend time with my baby girl. Hold on. First off, I'm not your baby girl. And then you need to keep your distance. And if you do not have anything important to say to me, I suggest you just leave. As you know, my plans will change at any time. Unless you want to start a program here. But we shall have you go downstairs, meet the receptionist, get a form, fill it out, make the required fee, and you are in. That's a joke, right? I'm not laughing. What's the matter with you? I don't get you at all. What are you talking about? All this attitude, is it because you've been hanging out with Malcolm? Oh, well, since that's not news to you anymore, yes. It has to do with me hanging out with Malcolm and it's more than just me. Uh, really? Tell me about it. I'm seeing him. We're dating. Look, Dan, I know you to be many things. <laughs> But not a husband snatcher. I never knew that was one of your qualities. What are you talking about? Well, I am talking about you being a pastor to a married. Look, darling, Malcolm will never leave Jade for you, no matter how awesome your sex is. What are you saying? <laughs> you see why you need me in your life? You didn't know. I still got love for you though, baby. Who's Jake? Just answer the damn question. Who is she?
going to tell you. That's what she's giving you your first chance. That's not how it is. Explain to me, how is it? Because all I see from standing here is a man who has been sleeping with his friend's girl. Can you even say a thing like that? And as far as I know, nothing meaningful is ever going to come between two of you. You say that to me over and over again. I am a man and I can afford to say whatever I want over and over again. But that doesn't put you in the place to take my girl. However I treat her, however I see her, is none of your business. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not coming to you about Diane and I. I'm really sorry. I wanted to tell you, but the opportunity never presented itself. Look, now that it's in the open, I guess I You guess be... what? What are you saying? You guess what? I should come clean and plain about what we've got going on. You are going to end it. End what? Whatever you've got going on, I don't care. I want my girl back. Wait, this is a joke, right? You're not being serious. I am serious. What did you think? Did you, did you actually think I was just going to let you have her? Mr. Man, go back to your wife and leave my girl alone. Oh, come on. You of all people know that Jade and I are through. Actually, I do. I do. But what I didn't know is you were divorcing Jade so you could be with my girl. I didn't see that coming. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Wait, I don't even get you. I don't understand you. You didn't even care if Diane could breathe or not. So where is all this coming from? Where is all this affection springing from? Is it because all of a sudden another man is loving her better than you did? Now you suddenly realize her worth. Is that it? I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. All I am saying to you is leave my woman alone. Because I will come for you with everything I have. Everything I have. Forgive me. I'm really sorry. I have forgiven you, but that's all you are getting. Please don't do this. I do love you and I won't leave without you. Malcolm, go back to your wife. I don't have one. Look, you may have had me fooled this whole time into believing that anything was going to come out of this. But please do not insult me further by looking at me in the face and lying to me. I am not lying to you. This technically married. She's still my wife, but I'm not like that anymore. What's that even supposed to mean? What are you saying? I'm getting a divorce. What? You're divorcing your wife? Malcolm, look, I may be many things. But a home wrecker is not one of those. No, it's, it's, it's not like that. Believe me, it has nothing to do with you. I told you before I met you. Our divorce proceedings are long gone. I know. I'm going through it. The dates, everything, it's all in there. She 
Jesus got caught in the Lord says. He's just going out of control and I got carried away. Welcome. I need to be alone. Please don't need to be like this. Just leave me alone. I, I need to be on my own. Now. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for you. What do you want? Forgiveness. You have that. My love. Babe, I'm a dead man walking. And I can't go on knowing that you hate me so much. I don't hate you. I couldn't, even if I wanted to. But I, I feel betrayed, lied to, and used. No, I did not use you. No. I love you. I love you so much, such that it's hurting you and making you feel the way you are. And I'm sorry. I want to make it up to you. I just need you to give me another chance. I don't know if I can. Please don't talk like that. I love you so much to want to do this. Please marry me. Please, just, just put that away. This is neither the place nor time. Okay, please. There will never be a better place nor time. Just make me the happiest man on earth, please. Say yes. So, where do we all go wrong? Honestly, I don't know. First, we were lovers and... Then all of a sudden, everything just took a downward spiral and then we became strangers cohabiting. Did you guys ever try to work things out? Of course we did. Well, she's not the average type of woman. What makes that different? She was very ambitious. She was, um, very competitive. I knew all of this, but I thought, you know, giving her the much needed male companionship would change all that, but I guess I felt wrong. How could you be so sure? I know her. After being raised by a terrible, horrible stepmother, a careless father, Left to think for herself, all by herself. What was left of us, this work obsessed, money making, independent casual freak. It depends on myself for everything. So you knew all this. Why did you still go ahead and marry her? Yeah. Yeah, I have to admit to so. it. I loved her. I can't deny it. She represented everything a woman should be to a man. She was ambitious. She was strong. She was focused, driven, highly motivational. You know, there's always a price to pay for a woman like that. Pretty well. 
Somehow it seems she's gotten what she's always wanted. She's taking it well and she's cooperating and she wants this as much as I do. No, I... I just don't feel good about everything. I feel like I... I contributed somehow. No, 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 don't say that. This has nothing to do with you. I promise. I promise I will never lie to you again. Thank you. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, and you need to stop showing up here like you own this place. Good morning to you too, darling. I wasn't greeting you, and you need to leave now. You yeah, look beautiful. I know. Let's take Get it. your hands off me. Don't ever touch me like that again. Look, baby, I know you are mad at me, but I am sorry. It's okay. What brings you here? You. I came here to see you. Why? Oh. Look, baby. I know I, I know I've offended you. I know you are mad at me, and you have every reason to be. But look, I'm just here to say I'm sorry, and I want us to get back together and pick things up. Oh, where we... oh, when? Can you stop chasing shadows and just face things the way they are? Meaning? Meaning that you and I can never have anything to do with each other. Why? Look, I need you to say something. I need you to give me a good enough explanation. And, and I, I, I better not be... Does this fit into what a good explanation looks like to you? Who gave you that? Malcolm and I are getting married. And now that you know this, I hope you never show your face around here again. See yourself. Uh, how have you been? I'm busy. You? I'm, I'm good. Uh, just come from the hospital. You know how it is, paper chairs. So yeah, I understand. Totally understand. Yeah. Yeah. So, how's it work? I'm great. <laughs> yeah, it's going great. You? Well, well, with me, everything is fine. Thank you. And with you? <laughs> everything is fine with me. <laughs> and Malcolm? <laughs> Um, he should be, he should be fine, I guess. <clears throat> but 
I, I really don't um what happened to you two? I mean you used to be so loving and fun and you know, a very fine couple I mean sweet and everything was pleasant. Where did it go wrong? Look, I don't know, Owen. Things just stopped working. We're having a divorce. And um, it's an adult decision, by the way. I'm willing to go through with it and, you know, take whatever comes out of it. I'll be fine, really. Everything. All that is so wrong. See, I know you to be a fighter. You don't, you don't ever lose. What, what happened to that spirit? Why are you bringing this up now? Why now? I'm, I'm just compared to... You know, initially I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to hush. But if you two are like family to me, I mean, if I don't say anything, then my conscience will just... Well, um, look, we were living separate lives, you know? We had um, different perspectives. It was just not working, so there's no point pushing it, you know? So you're just going to let him go up and go with another woman? He deserves to be happy. Look, like Jade, I understand that this whole um, potential political position can be quite overwhelming, but you can I'm sorry. Label... Hold up. You lost me at potential political position. Do you say that again? Well, you. Tell me you're just hearing about it. Yes, I am. What's that about? You, you mean you, you didn't know that Malcolm was shortlisted for the senatorial seat in his constituency? No, he didn't, he didn't mention that he's, at least not to me. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's why my friend went so up and go. It's like... After everything you have labored for, and then the harvest comes and it's right here, and then he just wants to get on with another woman and just go. Dude, you, you can't let that happen. No, 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 no. I am not the type to sow and not reap. with Malcolm from the scratch. We toiled together. We built together. And a lot of times, I, it was me who was behind a lot of his aspirations. What am I talking about? That was his freaking drive. Why would I want to walk out of my reaping season? <laughs> Imagine me. A senatorial wife. There are a lot of things I could do with that. Heaven knows I would explore that position to its full potential. Why Malcolm simply occupies it as usual? Shit. to figure out a way to get my man back and my home. It has to be given. Welcome. Sit. Be 
gezien. Ik stap niet, ik stap. Stok. Waar? Je should be asking that too. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Hmm? First the food. Now this. This is not like you. You can call it a rotten gift. Rotten gift? Mm hmm. I mean, the divorce papers are almost ready, right? Right. right. So, one more time for us. Mm. Hey honey, you're walking too fast. I need to tell you Sweden, something. I am running late. I only came to give you a kiss. I know, I know, but this is really very important. I need to discuss Maybe it. Maybe asked to wait. I need to catch my flight. Okay. I miss you. So how long will you be gone? Um, I don't have that information, yet, but as soon as I do, I will let you know, okay? Alright. Alright. You be careful, okay? Come back to me. <laughs> I will. Let me see. Um, okay. Yeah, let her come. Alright, thanks. Okay. Good day, madam. Um, you're welcome to the gym. Oh, would you like to start a program? I can help you with anything you want. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Jade. Okay. And my husband is Marco. How did the meeting go? Okay. Fine, babe. Miss you. I miss you too. Okay. What was that you were going to tell me earlier today? Um, I, I, I'd rather wait till you get back and then I can tell you. Baby, I'd want to say to you, looking at you in the eyes. Okay, you say so. Yeah. Well, I have to go now and call you before I sleep, okay? Okay. Love you always. I love you too. After all, you are still my husband. 
Why don't you go in and freshen up and just relax? You can't be serious. I am. Okay, so what are we going to do? <laughs> what a question. Um, do you have a different approach? Because from where I come from, when a couple is expecting, then they begin to prepare for a baby. But, but you know what I mean. What do you mean? What about the divorce? What about the divorce? Stop throwing questions back at me. You know what I mean? We are supposed to be approaching the final stages of our divorce proceedings. Oh! About that, we will no longer be pushing through the divorce. This is a joke, right? No, this is not a joke. What is wrong with you? How do you think you can just switch on and off on me just like that? You wanted this too! So what changed? Malcolm, I've realized what a mistake it would be to let you go. And if all you're asking for is your baby and a family, then why not? I'm willing to make that sacrifice and be all that you want to be. I realize that I've done you wrong and I'm willing to change and, you know, be, be the kind of wife that you want me to be, if you let me. It's not that easy, okay? It's not that easy. You can't just get up and change your mind all of a sudden. I didn't get up all of a sudden and change my mind. It's the pregnancy. It, it helped me change my mind. He helped me make a decision. Did you? Did you plan all this? Did you put all this together? Did I put all together? A pregnancy. Are you kidding me right now? You of all people know me better than that. I would never want to hold a man down. Just, I think the pregnancy came at the right time. Especially now that, you know, your political ambition is beginning to flourish. Mm. Nice. So that's what all this is about. Oh right? my goodness, there you go again. I don't believe this. And so, even if it were, is there a crime against being a supportive wife? No. Besides, in this part of the world, being an unmarried leader is not a flattering title. It could be used against you, so you should be thankful. This whole thing is messed up and, and I don't know what to do. All this is a mess. Well, you should be happy. I just told you we're expecting our first baby. It should be the best news you've ever heard. You should be thanking me. Please. Malcolm. Not having this baby. Even if you do.
My friend, would you remove your hands? This girl, are you my husband? And see, and Shani, you should be going for your third or fourth trip by now. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not planning to raise a nation. You hearing me? See, I know, but you know, it won't be a bad idea to have me, you or uncle, running around the house, right? Yeah, hey, what am I saying? No, 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 no. no. This one is okay. Even this one self is a lot. The hormones. Ah. Oh. I get ready for the morning sickness. Right? Yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> It'll be fine. But I'm super happy. Finally. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you share with her. She is the ordinary. In our society, kicks against that one. What are you thinking? A divorce will only mean the situation to be better, especially at this time. You can't allow women problem to deny you a lifetime opportunity. Your wife is enough. It's bad enough that you've had an affair, but to know that you want to divorce your pregnant wife over that repairing all the effort put it into bringing you this far. This is this is just about you. It's about those for me. Terminate whatever it is you have gone through with the other day. Okay, Mr. I'm handling it. I suggest you leave that house. There's nothing for me to have to take care of. She's not that sort of girl. Thanks for the thing. Whatever one of my parents and my uncle, experts in negotiators. Mm -hmm. It's good to know.
Look, I will not use my family as a political selling point. No, I won't. Alright, thanks. You were cheating on me with her. That relationship was doomed from the start. You were going through a divorce. You were still my husband nonetheless. Guess what? You sent me on whatever errand and that led me into the arms of another woman. Forgive me! I, I didn't know what I wanted then, but uh, ever since I realized I've been begging you. Oh, come the on. damage is already been done. That's because you don't you don't want to give us a second chance. You're already willing to run into the sunset with another woman after all that you and I have been through. That's because you left me with no other option after what you put me through. Oh my you said that a billion times. It has lost its wow effect. It still doesn't justify why you're willing to hold me down when it was sowing time and then just discard me when it's harvest time. It's not gonna happen, Malcolm. It won't. Wow, what? See, so. so that's what all this is about. What? You had it all planned out. I should have known. I should have known there was no good to your already damaged soul. Not even after picking up a new skin. What? Are you, are you, are you saying that to me? You once told me that you were in love with me, that I was the only woman for you, and you are saying this to me, be so me. You are so, so many, you do not deserve me. You don't deserve me. After all the people you do, you don't leave me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, you're hurting me. Stop saying things like that. Okay. Go oh, ahead. You can do. You can do better. Yeah, that's my girl. I told you. I told you. I told you. Mm. Like you have three minutes to justify your being here or I will throw you out. I'll just calm down. I'm not the enemy. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> they say water often finds its way into the ditches we create for them. I guess I am drowning in mine, and the hope of survival has eluded me. I could never be able to convey my true intentions to you, especially at this moment. But I do hope that you can find some closure in this letter. I am sorry things have to end this way. Honestly, I wish it didn't. I love you and will always do but circumstances beyond me has me on lockdown and without options. Thanks for all the good times, the dreams, the true love we shared. Thanks for making my time with you the best I ever had and thanks for letting me go knowing how difficult it would be for you. I'm in a different phase now. And my life's mission is way bigger than me and what I could ever emphasize. Enclosed in the envelope is a check of 20 million naira. As much as I know that no amount of money could ever equate what we shared, I do hope that this could be some sort of cold comfort. 
I will love you today, tomorrow, and always. Malcolm. Malcolm! I just deserve this. This is not fair. <laughs> You lose. <laughs> As always, you lose. I said it. I did. It's over. Safety me. Full stop. Periodical. I said it. <laughs> Jews don't understand. Oh, darling, darling, darling. There is nothing to understand. It is black and white. He was someone else's and he's bound to go back to his wife. Look, these are the hazards of choosing a married man over an eligible bachelor like myself. A man. Look, those men, their lives are already established. And it's so far that your body can take you. Owen, oh, it was not about my body. And I wasn't even looking to take it from his wife. I didn't even know he had one. Da, 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 damn, come on, really? Ignorance is not an excuse. You know that. You of all people should know that. It is not. I mean, you could have gone around and asked questions about this man before you started getting jiggy with yeah. him. But instead, my darling, you were blinded by your vengeance mission, which has already ended up in your face. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, you think this was about you? You really think you mean that much to me? Uh, actually, it is not going so well for you and the one that meant so much to you. Yes, right? true <laughs> that. He gave me more. He gave me the best kind of love I could ever ask for. He gave me the gift of a lifetime. Oh, God. Diane, he slept with you. Yes. He had sex with you. He he bought you a house. He blah, 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 blah. I mean, girls out there are making more than that. This, this. Are you joking? It's nothing to him. Let me tell you. There is... No, not really a house speed. This is not fine. The house is rubbish. Let us call it a speed. It's the house is not fine. It's ordinary. This guy can do way more than that. There's nothing giftly or lifetimely about this place. Oh, and he gave me more than this. Oh. Okay? He gave me more. Uh, actually, uh, I have some very nice honeys I want to go meet. I just want you to stop flattering yourself and wake up, Diane. <laughs> it's over, baby. Oh, and... <laughs> we lose, yes? If you must know, <laughs> I am pregnant with his child. Thank you.